Good day, guys. Being here. So um, last last time we did this one, and so today we are going to try this one. Okay, so the skylights. Um, they're very similar, but for these, I think um, instead of you know trying to try to uh, place a skylight and then try to you know create something to create this uh, this shape. We can probably just have that void inside of the skylight, so and then place them onto a very thick roof. So when when we place the window, uh, this skylight it automatically creates this shape. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so first uh, we're going to create a new project. Okay, so and in this project, I'm going to just create a roof. So and also I'll uh, duplicate, create a very thick roof. I'll just maybe uh, make it 1.5 meter thick, and I'll untick the uh, define slope. Just do a flat roof. So let, now let's go to 3D view. Okay, so this is a roof, and then uh, let's load a window, a skylight family. So let's go window load. So this family is in the Autodesk um, content library so uh, on, on the window folder and then there will be a skylight okay so now I'll just place one so you can see it automatically cut the opening right so in uh, this roof but what we want to achieve is uh, that the, this shape so um, we're not going to you know manually create those void because uh, you might need to you know adjust the size of a window or just the location of the window. We don't want to you know do it uh, uh, like do those changes every time we change the window, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to add that void inside this window family. So now let's go edit this family, uh, and of course you can also create a window. A family from scratch but for this exercise I'm going to save some time to you know keep all these so I just hit, type HH HH and HH to hide all the those windows and now we have this opening so you can see opening and so it's openings here and opening can only be a so you can see there's only one option so edit sketch that's a shape and can only be a like extrusion so it can be a you know like a bland shape um, um, so and also um, we can't have an extra like void so for example I'll just add a void inside here inside of this oh, oh sorry <laughs> uh, let's just go to the top so it looks like a, uh, the word plan of this void is on the a floor level but this this maybe should maybe we should just edit uh, work plan the place onto a roof instead so yeah so this is a void I'll just cut through this roof and then it, when we use cut geometry and click on the roof and click on the void and it will tell us a family can now have an opening and a cut in the same uh, host so okay so this is opening this is a cut so we can we can only have one cutting the roof I mean, we can't have both so because we want that shape we can't have this opening so which means we we need to delete that opening and use a void instead okay so now we're going to create a void but which which shape are we going to use so you might think that uh, oh the shape this we can create a blend with one profile one another profile um, yeah, it's it's a, it's possible, um, and actually depending on how you want to control this this uh, this shape. So, for example, if I go to ground floor, right? So this is the opening of the window. So if you want to also use the size to control the opening. So, for example, if I I'll just add some reference plans to control the size of the um, of the of the opening right so and we need to so this is width this is height maybe I'll just uh, add another so first we need to equal right so and 
Oops. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> uh, this one's fine. This maybe I should ping it. Don't know. Yeah. Okay. So let's try again. E Echo. Yeah. All good. And then add this one. So this will be the new parameter. So the, this will be the width of the ob opening, uh, the base of the opening. Okay. So and also this one equal another one. So I'll create a parameter. So this one I'll just call it W maybe base. Okay. So WB and it will be type parameter. So and then height. Oh, this is height. Yeah, that's fine. So we can call it height height bay. Okay. So. Now we have this, and then we can um, we can now let's have a look actually. So I want to check the word plan. So I want to make sure I place it properly. I don't want to place on the floor level. I want to place onto the roof instead. So maybe I'll just tab, try to select. Oh, that's that's a reference plan. So the face I want to use that, and also what's this one? Oh, so this is the. Maybe we can just use um, roof, I think. So roof, so the face and the roof, uh, face uh, reference plan and the roof uh, reference plan. Go back to floor plan. So now let's create a void. So uh, I use void blend and use rectangle. So for the current, it's a base, I think. So maybe I'll just click on the top. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> maybe we, uh, don't worry. Let's just do do this one first. It's a base, right? So we are going to place onto this, and also um, set word plan. I'll use the reference plan roof. Okay, so reference plan roof, and then oh sorry, rectangle from here to here. The lock. Okay, and then edit top and then set word plan so this time i'm going to use the reference plan face okay so and then okay and then again rectangular so just from here to here so and then lock now i'll change this uh, base uh, offset so uh, second n whatever it's called to zero um, and finish now let's have a look in uh, elevation so maybe go to the left uh, see the void there so it will automatically adjust so you can see if I change actually it doesn't really matter so the thickness in uh, this family so you can see it's 150 that's uh, half foot maybe <laughs> six inch uh, so if I type 300 it will automatically adjust so you can see on the void it's oh, it's maybe here right I'll type WF so you can see the void automatically adjust and we can use cut geometry cut the roof and cut the void now let's have a look in 3d view right so that's it so let, let's load this one into the project override and now you can see we have this and okay so the issue with this one is we need to adjust the size of the opening so manually so by edit so you can see the f uh, the size of the window right so the height and the width so for example i'll just make it like a one meter by one meter and then for the opening we need also need to you know manually adjust so for example make it three meter by three meter uh that's probably too much yeah that's fine so yeah something like this right so you can also change if you want uh, change to different even you know rectangular right so one point five for the width and then i'll just maybe i'll just talk to meter so something like this okay so yeah it's not too bad and once we have this so we can you know like uh, maybe i'll just array maybe here uh extra a little bit more so maybe uh 24 and maybe three right so i can then this a and do another array uh, on this direction so another uh, four for example so so it's quite easy to you know create something uh, like this and you can see it's a little bit different size as well so yeah you can just uh, um, you can 
SA, just ungroup them, and also SA again, ungroup again. So you just need to, you know, change because we um, actually I just uh, I have all the parameter in, as you know type parameter. Oh, maybe we should rename it, but yeah, don't worry. And you you need to duplicate and create a different type so to have different size, right? So okay, so this is one of the option, one of the option for the void. But what if um, we don't want to do all these like a, a, a settings of size? We only want to, you know, set the like the pitch, the the pitch of this edge. How about that? So, uh, so we need to do it slightly differently. So let's go to the family again. Okay. Maybe uh, I will keep this one. So I'll save this as a new file. So we can have both uh, family in the same project. Okay. So I'll save this one. I'll just save it, you know, just name it. I mean, give it a different name. Okay, so now this one. So I'll just go back to go to 3D view, select this void. I'll just delete it, okay? And go back to the floor plan. This time, we're not going to have any of these uh, parameters. So I'll just delete this, delete this, delete this, this. And also, we don't need these reference plans, okay? And go to family types. I'll just get rid of all the, you know, parameters. So we just did for the previous uh, family. So for this uh, method, so we we just need to create a, 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 a sweep, okay? So a sweep, void sweep. So go uh, void sweep and then sketch path or set web plan onto the face. Yep, it's already there. So I just use rectangle and lock onto the reference uh, plans. And I'll finish and go edit profile. So go to the left view. So you can see this is where the base. So we just need to draw a line here, down here, here, up there, right? So we need to constrain this. Let's type VV and turn on the sketch dimension so we know. Yeah, so these are the all the dimension we need to get rid of. So just try to so use the reference plan. Okay, so tab, pick the reference plan, just pick that point. So not this tab, tab this. Okay, so lock. And again, so this one, and again, so there's another reference plan here. So you can probably also it should be fine to use the level and then the last one so we're not going to, going to dimension this but we're going to add a angular parameter a dimension to it so di angle angular add a dimension so now as as soon as you uh we add a dimension so it will get rid of that uh, a sketch dimension so that's this is all we need and then we can add an angle parameter that's called a and maybe instance yeah, let's just use instance and okay so now we have a, a parameter to control the pitch on this edge okay so then just let's finish and finish so now you can see we only have this void to cut this around here around this so what we need is we need another extrusion so uh, that's simple right so we create void extrusion rec rectangle just from here to here lock 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 and lock so go to left view finish this so you can see we just need to, oh sorry <laughs> select it uh yeah not sure why 300 ah the other way drag this down to to the reference uh plan lock that's all now we can just cut geometry roof and that's it so you can still see this void but don't worry i think that's all good okay so i'll change the scale a little bit the one is too thick okay so yeah so this is it so slightly different um than the previous one so because we we, we don't need to adjust the size to to uh, uh um, we just need to have the angle, right? So it will automatically adjust uh, uh, to match the you know size of the window. Now let's load this one into the project, and I'll just place it, place it here. So okay, so you can see the this currently is 38 degree. So if I type 30 degree, it will reduce the size of this opening. 
All right, so 20 degree, let's come down a little bit, space. And then if I change this size here, it will automatically adjust the open size of the opening. So it's, it's different to uh, different to the, this family because for this one, you need to every time you change and then you need to go uh, adjust the size of the opening, right? So okay, so I think uh, I think this this is uh, uh, this this method is uh, slightly easier because yeah because it's easier. <laughs> Okay, the same thing, so you can, you know, array or do whatever you like. And, uh, and, and, and this is it. Right, so this is it. So you can um, quite easily uh, to create something. Oh. Hang on, let me have a look. Yeah, it looks like the, the pitch is quite... Uh, the angle is probably like a uh, 45 degree. You can, um, yeah, let's try. I'll just copy this, Co create another roof here. That's fine. Place one here and uh, increase the, you know, increase the size of that. Maybe I should uh, increase the size of the window as well. Um, yeah, so, and then CC copy. And the CC copy, right? So okay, oh good. So this is it. Um, I do you need this family? Probably not. It's very simple. Try try it yourself. Okay, so tr uh, just uh, add some void inside this, so you can load. You can find that family in the uh, Autodesk uh, library. So. Just have a try to add those uh, void, and then this is it. So, and uh, for like, if you need to change the material, for example, you have, you know, this uh, plasterboard, and then oh, I want some timber. I uh, just paint, paint it. So you can just go use the, you know, just pen use pen tool. I, I don't think you should. I don't think you should model those things in. You can, of course, but. Yeah, so you just just paint material. So right, so that should be should be should be sufficient. Okay, so this is it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.